Right, welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips. And today we're going to look at what I think is a real issue with a lot of golfers. I know it's something certainly that I have suffered from over the years and it is a real back swing destroyer, as Eric Cagorno calls it. And it's what we do with our hips that is causing the major problem. Right, before we go into the drill, if you're new to the channel, let me explain just what Testing the Tips is all about. I'm an average golfer just like you and I'm pretty much obsessed with watching golf YouTubers tuition videos and trying to improve my swing and all I simply do on this video on this channel is relay what I'm seeing all the good stuff hopefully stuff that's perhaps worked for me and hopefully will work for you so please consider hitting that subscribe button but on to today's video and it comes from Eric Cagorno Golf who to be honest with you has become a real favorite of mine some real simple and straightforward tuition breaking down elements of the swing and that's what we're going to look at today First of all, let's look at what the issue is. And the issue is all about swaying, the movement of the hips that can be really lethal, to be honest with you. And again, like I said in the intro, something that I really suffer from. If we take a look now at essentially what is the wrong position, if we can draw a bit of a line up onto my right leg, my hips here, as you'll see, start to, there's two, well, there's two options really. We start to sway and turn, which can mean real inconsistency in terms of being able to return back to the ball in the correct position. Really relies heavily on your timing and tempo being spot on every time. And we know that's not gonna happen. So what we need to do, we need to change the way that turn happens and we need to not sway. We need to stay a little bit more rigid if you like with the hips in terms of the right position but obviously we've still got to create some turn to generate that power and what we're going to look at is very simple drills in terms of how you do that how you look at the second swing which you'll see my weight staying predominantly more to the left side hip stays in line with uh, well it doesn't move really maybe moves an inch or so towards the left when the downswing starts the question is how do we do that what kind of impact will it have on the quality of the strike and trust me from my experience of this one only in the last week or so my sort of ability to strike the ball cleaner has improved significantly and it's been concentrating on one thing and that's how I turn how I rotate these hips how I rotate the shoulders and how I start delivering the club head a lot more consistently so basically what we're trying to achieve is to stay more centered and less sway that's all we're trying to do and a lot of it starts with the legs themselves and a basic concentration on what effectively what your two knees are doing and it starts off with an encouragement to start the rotation or uh, allow a little bit more rotation we've seen this in other videos is uh, sort of flaring both left and right foot out and also that sort of flares the knees out as well and what that will always allow you to do is turn a little bit more freely so that's the first step that we're going to do to stop us swaying we need to do one thing we need to stay a little bit more forward and we're going to feel like and this is the only thing that i've been concentrating on after eric's video is that our first movement is the knee is going to go towards the ball so as we're coming back, the knee moves towards the ball. What that means is that I'm trying to concentrate on keeping my knee cap over my lead foot, my left foot. So if I keep that there, what that means straight away is I can't move that way. My hips can't move that way. I'm staying over the ball. What then also does is you'll see that the right leg starts to straighten. And it's as simple as that. That is all I've concentrated on doing. What it then needs you to do is start to turn and rotate the upper body a little bit more as well and that's where the next element of this and a little bit of a drill that you can start to use with all these i would suggest where possible is you try and get these things filmed so you can see and play back to yourself exactly what you're doing and understand what you're doing with your swing so simply if i do this in full speed i would be looking to that's me done that's me to the top of the backswing i've kept my hip I would say still in uh, in that position it hasn't moved that greatly it's turned it's rotated rather than swayed that's the first bit done very very simply the next thing you're going to need an alignment club uh, an alignment stick or a golf club and I'm just going to move that forward slightly and I want it inside I want it touching my left heel or your lead heel back into position 
From behind now, if you have a little bit of a look at what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to rotate the hips, the shoulders, and what I want to feel is that my spine is starting to move towards the left foot or towards the left alignment stick. So my concentration now is I'm left knee over the, over the ball, turn, but I want to encourage my hips and shoulders to turn at the same time and feel like the movement is starting to make its way towards the alignment stick. So the bottom of your spine starts to feel like it's on the alignment stick. And then again, they're two very, very simple concentration points where you're not moving that way and your whole emphasis is staying more centered over the ball and creating far better rotation, which will give you far better consistency. Eric goes on, this is a long video, and I must admit, I'm, this is short and sweet, but essentially, that's all it boils down to. Two points of contact that you need to remember. Your knee moving towards your, uh, your front left foot, and uh, your coccyx, whatever you want to call it, get that idea that it's coming towards your left, the, your left heel, if you like, in my case. Right, here's a few shots that I've attempted to play, at least, with this same kind of theory. So what you see first of all, and if I look down, there's a good contact and it's ball and then ground. So I'm getting also ball then turf, which is a good strike position. And uh, why that's important? Well, because a lot of the time what I will do when I comment on some of the videos, you hear me say I got it off the bottom grooves. And what that'll mean is my low point is behind the ball. So I'm hitting irons behind the ball, not getting that divot. Why else that a thing? Well, that's because of that sway again, and I'm not returning to that low point at the correct time. What this means, or this drill means, is that you should, in theory, stay centered, hitting that ball so it improves compression, it improves strike. It's got a lot of important factors to help you. Um, in this case, it's irons, but the same principle would obviously apply through to driver as well. So, another really important tip, I would say, from Eric Kagorno, and for me, what testing the tips has done, this is a move that I used to make a few years ago, but I also questioned if it was correct or not. And having that sort of confirmation from Eric to see that, yeah, you know, that first movement, knee towards the ball or towards the cover your um, left lead foot is a good starting point for the swing. That's encouraging and it's nice to know you're doing the right thing. So like every tip, it takes practice. You're going to have to kind of work with this. It's a new movement. It's almost a new little sequence as well of those movements. So take it to the driving range, give it a go, let it see what it does for you. But if you're swaying, watch yourself back on camera, see if that's a move you, can, you are making. It can be really dangerous. It is a destroyer of many a good golf swing. So concentrate on their movements. Hopefully it helps. Right, another tip video done as ever. Give me some feedback in that comment section below. Point me in the right direction of some other YouTubers that I might have caught onto yet and uh, we'll try those tips and feed them back to you on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.